Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In the last video, we studied multiplexing with 7 segments display using PIC 16 F877 microcontroller. In today video I will show you what is dot matrix display and how to use it. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G and click on the bell icon. Dot matrix display. A dot matrix display is a display device which contains light emitting diodes aligned in the form of matrix. Dot matrix displays are used in applications where symbol, graphic, characters, alphabets, numerals are need to be displayed in static as well as scrolling motion. A typical dot matrix display is shown in figure below. It is 8 by 8 dot matrix display. Means it has 8 LEDs in row and 8 LEDs in column. Here is the connection of the LEDs. R mean row and C mean column. A typical single color dot matrix unit will have 16 pins, 8 for each row and 8 for each column. The reason the rows and columns are all wired together is to minimize the number of pins required. If this were not the case, a single color 8x8 dot matrix unit would need 65 pins, one for each LED and common anode or cathode connector. By wiring the rows and columns together, only 16 pins are required. Types of matrix display Dot matrix display is manufactured in various dimensions like 5x7, 8x8, 16x8, 32x8, 64 by 16 and 128 by 64 where the numbers represent LEDs in rows and columns. Also these displays comes in different colors such as red, green, yellow, blue, orange, and white. Construction of matrix display. In dot matrix display, multiple LEDs are wired together in rows and columns. The matrix pattern is made either in row anode and column cathode or row cathode and column anode pattern. In row anode column cathode pattern, the entire row is anode while all columns serve as cathode and it is vice versa in row cathode column anode pattern. As shown in figure, it is an 8x8 dot matrix display. All anodes are connected with row 1. In second row all anode are connected with row number 2. And so on. All cathodes are connected with columns 1. In second column all cathodes are connected with column number 2. And so on. How dot matrix display work? In dot matrix display each LED can be controlled individually by controlling the current through each pair of column or row. For example, if you want to turn on row number 3 and column number 1 LED, we need to give logic high or positive volts to row number 3 and give logic low or ground volts to column number 1. Then this LED get turn on. If you want to turn on row number 2 and row number 4 and column number 4 LEDs, we need to give logic high or positive volts to row number 2 and row number 4, and give logic low or ground volts to column number 4. Then these LEDs get turn on. How to display character on dot matrix display. The method of displaying message on dot matrix display is same as 7 segment multiplexing. The desire character can be displayed by switching on off a desire configuration of LEDs. The figure below shows the arrangement of LEDs in a typical 8x8 dot matrix display. Any individual LED or group of LEDs in the matrix can be activated by switching the required number of row and columns. Multiplexing is the technique of switching one row of the display on at a time. By selecting the column that contains the row you want to be lit, and then turning the power to that row and column to illuminate. That row is then turned off and the next row is turned on, again with the appropriate columns chosen and the LEDs in the second row will now illuminate. Repeat with each row till you get to the bottom and then start again at the top. If this is done fast enough more than 25 times per second then the phenomenon of persistence of vision will mean that the display will appear to be steady, and the character will be recognizable in the dot matrix. How to generate code for dot matrix display? 
If we want to display character on dot matrix display we need some codes that should be sent via a row and in column. If we want to display character A on dot matrix display we need following codes. You can see in this figure. All 8 row in first column are off. We will send 0x00 code in row 1. And 0 in column 1. In second column, row 1 and row 2 are off and other rows are on. We will send 0x3f code in row 2. And 1 in column 2. So these LEDs get turned on. In third column, row 1, row 3, row 4, row 6, row 7 and row 8 are off. And rows 2 and row 5 are on. We will send 0x48 code in row 3. And 1 in column 3. So these LEDs get turned on. In fourth column, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 6, row 7 and row 8 are off. And rows 1 and row 5 are on. We will send 0x88 code in row 4. And 1 in column 4. So these LEDs get turned on. In fifth column, row 1, row 3, row 4, row 6, row 7 and row 8 are off and rows 2 and row 5 are on. We will send 0x48 code in row 5 and 1 in column 5. So these LEDs get turned on. In 6 column, row 1 and row 2 are off and other rows are on. We will send 0x3f code in row 6 and 1 in column 6. So these LEDs get turned on. All 8 row in 7 column are off. We will send 0x00 code in row 7 and 0 in column 7. All 8 row in 8 column are off. We will send 0x00 code in row 8 and 0 in column 8. We will send these code one by one to dot matrix display and dot matrix display show character on it. That is same procedure we already have done in multiplexing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And keep watching Star Technology 5G.